ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, kids of all ages, welcome back to another episode of FTB's Builder's Paradise. That's right, folks, RB plays here, you over there watching this uh, from the other side of the screen. Uh, today, let's see, today we are, uh, we're doing a few things. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for being here. I hope you enjoy. If you do, make sure you hit that subscribe button and uh, get notified every time we put new content up on the channel. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for being here. Um... It means a lot to me. So we're just over here at spawn. Uh, Zen, Zendian, is uh, doing a little, <clears throat> a little uh, repeater demonstration over here so that uh, people that want to build any kind of timer or whatever, that they can do that, which is cool. Uh, the boys, uh, the boys have been working hard on getting this village kind of set up. Of course, we got Estrissi up there. Estrissi? Oh, no, that's Deether. Uh, we got Deether up there. Estrissi's around here somewhere, too. Uh, oh, there. Nope, there's Deether. Uh, but anyway, yeah, so... Just came and just wanted to come and check spawn because I wanted to see how it was doing, and it seems to be doing uh, swimmingly. I was told that there's some stuff going on over at my base, so we need to go check that out too. Uh, apparently, the pranks have begun. Uh, oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah, oh, oh yeah, yeah. The pranks have begun. Um, so let's go check that out and see what that's all about. Um, and then today we're going to uh, today we're going to do some stuff over here at the base. To, uh, to kind of pick up where we left off the other, uh, the last episode. Nice. Nice. We have, we have pirate flags. That's nice. Um, and also signs. So, uh, dance. You better need to sing like a whale. Someone was here. Uh, there is a missing house here, you slacker. <laughs> uh, Boogie and just an extra sign. Okay, so yes, there is a missing house here, and I would like to do something about that today. Um, but we had to, so we had to get the the cobble works up and running in the last episode. Today we need to uh, be able to make concrete, and so that, my friends, is where we are. Uh, we need to get uh, we need to get set up so that we can make actual concrete blocks. So this is working uh, pretty well, pretty pretty nice. Um, all of these are full, so we've got, uh, we're, we're full on gravel here, we're almost full on sand there, we're full on gravel and sand there, we're full on sand and glass there, and this, of course, is full of cobblestone, which is awesome, uh, which is so, so awesome. Um, next today, next, next now, uh, we need to make a couple more things. We need to make um, a uh, fluid transposer, because in order to make concrete, so concrete... Um, in order to make actual concrete blocks, white or otherwise, you either need to mix it with a bucket of water or you need to put the concrete powder into a fluid transposer where it will turn it into concrete. This is the way I want to do it because this is the way that I ultimately we'll be able to automate it for future concrete episodes uh, or concrete endeavors. Is there any... Uh, is applied... Uh, apply, no, that's not how you spell applied. Applied... Yeah, applied energistics is in here. I should have known that because I have, I have, I have quartz. Um, so we need to make a fluid, a fluid transposer. We also need to make an energetic infuser. No, not an energetic infuser. We need to make a uh, induction smelter. Induction smelter. Uh, this guy. So that we can make some alloys. Um, so that's pretty easy to do. It needs invar gear. It needs copper. So yeah, we should be able to make that. Um, oh, Ether's got tree RF power. Cool. Nice. Well done. Ether. Um, so I did automate this a little bit. I want to aut automate this a little bit more, and I can do that by doing uh, by doing this. If we come in here and we do um, fluid duct, uh, just a regular old hardened fluid duct, which is invar and lead, uh, then we should be able to uh, do some cool stuff. So invar, yes, and wait, that was only one, two, and some lead. Do I have? Oh, there it is. Uh, lead, yes. That's cool. That works. Uh, <laughs> you like my signs and banners, huh? Well, you should, because you put them there. <laughs> uh, text. You should like them. Them. You put them there. Winky face. <laughs> um, so let's get this, and we'll make this into this. So boom. And boom and boom right yep so that gives us six of those and then we want to get a, a redstone uh, one of these guys can I make one of these guys no I can't make one of those because it's signalum and that won't work and blah never mind 
I was going to try and automate this a little bit. Uh, I've been trying to figure out a way to automate this really well because most of the, there aren't any timers, right? There are no timers in this pack, like none, like zero, like nothing from RF tools, nothing from extra utilities, nothing from uh, any of the uh, normal mods that you would have. So if you guys have any ideas out there, I would, uh, I would love I would love to hear them. Um, so anyway, back to the fluid transposer because that seems to be the most important thing right now. Fluid transposer needs a couple of these. Uh, we're gonna need some glass, we're gonna need some redstone. So we'll get some glassy glass. We'll just take that whole stack, right? Then you should start doing the thing, yeah. Cool. Uh, we're gonna need some redstone. Redstone on my mind. Uh, there, there. So fluid transposer, fluid transposer, uh, and there's also an assembler or something like that uh, that we can use. So you you need tin. Do you have any tin? I should have some tin. I should totally have some tin. I do have some tin. Uh, so you go there and you go there and let's do this and let's do that and let's go here and let's go there and let's get that and boom. There's that. Oh, you know what we didn't have? Ugh. We don't have any iron. We're gonna need some iron. Gonna need some iron like crazy. So yeah, I guess we need to be in this, right? Yeah, there we go, that's better. So you, you, you give me a machine frame and then you need a couple of those. One, two. Ah, get out of there. And then you, Need a reception coil, which needs gold, goldy gold, gold. Wow, I cannot seem to click anything properly this evening. I know, so I'm recording this on Wednesday night. Normally, I would be streaming right now, but I'm I'm not a hundred percent well right now. Like I I have to spend a lot of time in places other than in my studio. Let's just let's just put it that way. Um, and so as such. I didn't figure streaming tonight was going to be a good idea, but hey, we have a fluid transposer now. So if I put, hmm, where can I put said fluid transposer that would allow me to do very cool things with it? Like maybe over here, like maybe over here, this might work. Uh, so where's my, there's my ax right there. So if I go like this and like this, yeah, and then like this. Oh no, that's not what I wanted. That's so not what I wanted. Get back on there. Thank you. That's better. So we could wrap that around here like this, right? Right, yeah. So give me some fluid ducts. Just the regular ones will be fine because why not? I do have some of those, don't I? I have one of those, oof. But I also have the hardened ones. Can I put the hardened ones in here? Like the hardened ones should work too, shouldn't they? Those will connect, won't they? Like I was gonna totally use the hardened ones to, to, do, uh, to do what we were trying to do with the base, but eh, it's not gonna work, I don't think. Oh yeah, it's connecting, cool. Oh, really? One more, one more is all I needed? That's fine. That's fine. So we just need uh, one of you and two of you, right? Is that right? You're right. Unbelievable. You and you and you. Yeah, hardened fluid ducts. There we go. So we'll put this down here. We'll get water going into the back of this guy. This here fluid transposer, right? You filling up with water? No, because you are set for output. Oh, come on. There we go. Now you're good. Uh, the rest of these can get turned off until I figure out how exactly I want to do the rest of this, right? So you, you can go back there. We can put something here. Yeah, like that might be okay. And uh, we probably also need some stone, which I might have some here. I do. So now that you've got that, you just need power. And we're probably going to need more of you, right? Yep, 
totally going to need more of those too. So that's what, lead and redstone? Uh, leadstone flux duct. Leadstone flux duct. Oh wow, that's a lot. So redstone, glass, and you. So you, you, uh, one, two of you, and glass and redstone. We should have enough now. Cool? Cool. Nope. There we go. That'll be enough. All right, so we can get power to this guy now. So he should be ready to start fluid transposing. Yes? You have power? No. Why do you have no power? Why do you have no power? Why are you? Oh, you're not making power because I've got you set to be redstone only. Uh, let's make a lever so that I can turn him off and on. Uh, do I have a stick? I do have a stick. Put that there. And you there and do that. There. Now I can turn him on and off as necessary until we get to a point where we can kind of control him. Apparently that doesn't work, but that does. Okay, so now you're getting power? You certainly are. Let's check the chat, see what's going on there. Uh, 2,000, uh, yes, okay. Yeah, we're, we're having everybody build 2,000 meters away from spawn just because we don't want to get any lag here at spawn. So, yeah. All right, so you're ready. So now, is there an assembler? Like a cyclic assembler or something like that? Click. Nope. There's a, I want to say there's an assembler from Thermal. At thermal. There's a redstone furnace, there's a pulverizer, there's a sawmill, there's an induction smelter, there's a compactor, phytotunic insulator, magma crucible, fractioning still, fluid transposer, energetic infuser, centrifugal separator, Sequential fabricator, aha, that's what I want, I think. The sequential fabricator crafts items, yes. So, just need, that's pretty easy. We should be able to make that right now. So let's get ourselves a couple of um, sequential, there it is, sequential fabricator. So we just need a couple of you, I guess we need to be in here. So a couple of you, one, two, and then we need uh, one of you, oh, we need some gold, I probably should bring this out so that I don't have to keep clicking on it like this, but hey, you know what, fine, that, we need this, we're going to need some tin, probably going to need more tin than that, uh, that's not where my tin is, my tin is in here. So give me that, and give me that, and that should be fine. That should give us plenty of tin, right? Plenty of tin. Sequential fabricator, we need one of you, one of you, one of you, and then this, right? And then that should give us this. Why, yes, it does. A sequential fabricator. So if we put this guy down here, right there, he gets power too, right? Yeah, he does. And so we can have him set up to make concrete powder, right? So, see what we can come up with. Let's see what we can do to, uh, to kind of make this thing work. We're gonna need some item ducts. So item ducts. Uh, just regular item ducts will be fine. So that's gonna be tin and lead. So tin and lead, sure. Can I make those right now? I might be able to make those right now. Item ducts. Uh, not in that. I can make them in there, though. Item ducks. No, I don't have all of the stuff. I have tin, but I don't have any lead. There's some lead. Cool. Whoops. Cool. So, you, you, you. Let's get eh, 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 eh. Four sets? Sure. That sounds logical. So what I'd like to do then is I'd like to set it up so that materials get pulled into here, right? And then the 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 uh, the, the concrete powder will get crafted, and then 
it'll get sent over here to get fluid transposed. And then we'll put it out, we'll output it into like a chest or something, or hey, I got a better idea. What if we did something like this? If we go like that and like that, we could put a couple of storage drawers in there, yes. Uh, you know what? We're just gonna do this <laughs> because why not? Uh, so if we could put us up a couple of storage drawers in there, let's see, can we build multiple chests? Why, certainly we can, I like it. Uh, and then drawer, drawer, the storage drawer. Give me one of you. So this will be my input, right? You and you are gonna have to come out the bottom, right? Can I bring you out the bottom? Yes, I totally can. So this will be input on the bottom, right? So input on the bottom. Uh, you, I don't want you to do anything. Well, eh. and you're gonna be nothing on that side and nothing on that side, right? That should be fine. You then, on the other hand, are gonna be insert over here and you're gonna be output on the bottom. That should be okie dokie. And you don't necessarily have to be anything on the top either because power connects is universal. So cool. Um, so this guy here, we want him to be output, right? So we want him to be output and his output is gonna go right there. Uh, so if we come in around in the back, I don't wanna go like this. And that's gonna work. That's gonna work really stinking well because there's a bunch of sand coming in. Oh, and water too. How about that? Go oh, away. Apparently the ocean's out there. Nice. Who knew? Who knew that the ocean would be out there? But anyway, item duct. So you can go like that, like that, like that. Cool. So now you are outputting. You're going to go into there. That's cool. Let's see if we can get some stuff. So to make concrete powder, concrete powder, not power, powder, make concrete powder of the white variety. We're going to start with white because that's the one that we need for sure. Um, oh, I can make it out of pulp. Okay. Yeah, we're cool. So we just need sand, gravel, and some kind of white dye. We have bone meal for right now. We don't have a lot but we have some. So if I get two of you and then get some sand and some gravel. So, uh, sand, how much sand is in here? A lot. So I'll put you there and you there and you there. Yeah, that's cool. And then we just need some gravel, right? So you, need to be bone meal. We might change this up for something a little bit different, right? Uh, but anyway, bone meal can go there. Sand, sand. Gravel, gravel. Is that right? Nope. It goes like this. And sand. And then gravel, gravel, gravel. Gravel, gravel, gravel. So that gives us that gives us white concrete powder. Set the recipe, right? Add that, add that, and add that. And you, A, look at this, you're making concrete for me. Are you exporting over here? No, why are you not exporting over there? Why are you not exporting over there? Red is output, right? Well, maybe it is. It might just be taken forever. That is a possibility. Is this working? I mean, it's the... Oh, yeah, there it goes. Cool. Hey, we're getting concrete. We're getting concrete, and that is awesome. I love it to pieces. Okay. So now I just got to figure out how I'm going to get uh, all of this into here, right? Because we need to use this as an input to this chest. So... What I think I might have to do over here, and that might require some creativity on my part uh, to be able to use, uh, to be able to get something here that we can put items into and then shuffle it back over here as, in, as an input. Um, 
or we just go from here, right? We could take some gravel and some sand and put them in here and call that good, but then we just then we don't have bone meal. So bone meal seems to be the sticking point. The other thing that we could use is mystical white flowers, I think, because mystical white flowers are in here, right? Yes, they are. It says they're only in the twilight forest and the mining dimension. So maybe we want to go to the uh, mining dimension. Maybe, can we get to the mining dimension? Uh, mining dimension. Mining dimension. Bricks, ender pearl, stone axe. Don't have an ender pearl. Bummer. Well, okay then. That shoots that idea right in the foot. Right in the foot. Huh. Well, okay. I guess for right now we could just put items in here and that would be cool. So as we get bone meal or something like that, then, uh, then we'll be in good shape. Um, and the, so the reason why that might be an acceptable thing, is it daytime? It is not daytime. So let's make it daytime. The reason why that might be a success, or not a successful, but a, uh, um, a seemingly decent idea is that the boys are thinking about building a mob farm over at spawn. Right? We don't want to have any, uh, any personal bases at spawn, but we'd like to have resources at spawn that everybody can use. So that's kind of what we're thinking about as far as a, uh, as far as a mob farm goes over this way. We also need to get like some kind of walkway or sidewalk or road or something to get back to spawn because it's a long way. Eventually we'll have some kind of teleportation, I'm assuming, although this Builder's Paradise pack does not have a lot of the stuff in it that one would assume uh, that it should have. What in the world have they done here? More more banners. Great. So yeah, so somewhere over here they're talking about putting in a, uh, a mob farm. These are doing, doing something, doing stuff. I don't know where this mob farm is going to go though, so I'm going to have to check around and see what they say. Let me uh, let me see if I can find somebody and I'll ask them. So the mob farm apparently isn't started yet, but there is a mob right here. Hi ya! Ha! Gotcha. Did I get anything? Nothing. Bummer. That's a bummer. Now how do I get out? I'm stuck. I can't get out. Oh yes, I can. Right over here. I can make it. I can get out. Oh, I can't get out that way though. Yeah, now I can get out. Okay, cool. So yeah, so apparently the community mob farm hasn't been started yet. And that's unfortunate because I was really hoping to be able to get some uh, bones for the uh, bone meal. Um, and I'm wondering about these, uh, about the, the, the flowers in the overworld because I seem to recall, I seem to recall in my brief adventures... Uh, that there were some places around here where that stuff was already growing. But maybe I'm mistaken. I mean, it is entirely possible that I am mistaken. Oh, hey, white sheep. Aha! White sheep. Uh, how can I get that white sheep? I need, need that white... Oh, hey, what's that? That's somebody's base. Um, they're going to have to move because no base is within 2,000 meters of spawn, except for me, because I'm kind of the center of attention and... You know, it is what it is. Uh, I need a lead or something to get that get that sheep. I want sheep. Let me get this sheep somehow. Can I, I probably can't do a lead. I don't think I have any slime balls. Yeah, I don't have any slime balls. But there are slime islands because there is Tinker's Construct. So there should be slime islands. Where in the world is a slime island? I need to break these signs because... Is what it is. Bye, y'all. Rid of them signs. Yeah. Uh, so here's what I'm going to do first. I'm going to break down this right here. So this is the level that I want to put my house at. Uh, so I'm going to break everything down at this level, and uh, and then we're going to see if we can lay out uh, kind of the basic shape of the house uh, after I uh, after I clear this away. So give me a minute, and I'll come back to you, and we'll see if we can show you what the base is kind of going to be shaped like. Okay, so we've got some uh, we've got some some white concrete coming up. Uh, I did use up all of my bone meal, so we have a, a stack. We have a full stack here, um, and I want to kind of get a, a layout here of what the base is going to look at uh, look like. So it's going to be a kind of a contemporary build kind of a thing. So it's going to be real clean, real sleek lines. Uh, we're going to use uh, a lot of glass to be able to see in, and uh, and I want to incorporate this uh, this opening into the base a little bit like when I the first time we, we looked at it from over there I saw this opening I was like yeah that's got to be part of the base 
Uh, unfortunately, to be part of the base, you you have to go um, because well, yeah, because you have to go. Um, anyone have basalt? I might have some. Do I have any basalt? Do I have any basalt? Uh, slate. I have slate. Marble. Uh, nope. I have no basalt. Nope, that's all slate. So anyway, let's go back up here. Uh, and you know what? You are gonna have to go as well. I will include a pirate flag. I will include a pirate flag. Don't you uh, don't you fret on that. I will definitely have a pirate flag because I want to have a pirate flag. Uh, but this is gonna be the this is gonna be part of the base right here. So we're gonna we'll go ahead and bring this across like this, and we're gonna bring it out right to here. So ideally, what's gonna happen is people are gonna come across the uh, come across the bridge, and then there'll be a staircase up to over here. So this right here is gonna be the front of my base, right? So we're gonna bring this over like this, and these three blocks, yeah, these three blocks. Are going to be the entrance way uh, and then uh, and then I think I want to do something like this I want to bring this out sort of like this and then I think I want to bring it out like this right I don't want to get too carried away don't want to get too carried away with the size like I don't like I want this over here to this is gonna be kind of like a balcony so I think right about here, we'll go ahead and bring this back. How many blocks is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. That's, only, that's an odd number. You do not want this to be an odd number. So we're gonna go one more. We're gonna go one more. Eh, no. Get me up here. Kinda like that, I guess. Something like that, right? So this will be the front door. This will be glass looking out. Ow! Uh, this will be glass looking out over the uh, over this way. There'll be glass looking over this way out towards spawn, uh, and then there'll be an observation room down there. So there will be a way for me to get down into my base from in here, probably like a spiral staircase kind of a thing. Um, and then over here, like here, I think I want to just go. How many? How many is this? So that's. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh gosh, why is this not counting very well? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So yeah, we'll go one more. Uh, yeah, we'll leave this kind of like that. And I want to have a balcony that kind of wraps around, so that'll be cool. And then here, I guess. So that's the shape, right? That's the shape of the house. And it's gonna be open concept. It's gonna be lots of windows. It's gonna be breezeways and, um, and cool stuff, right? Because this just strikes me as the kind of place where you would wanna have uh, that, kind of a, that kind of a base. Um, so now to do the rest of this, we're gonna need chisels and bits. And that is unfortunately probably gonna have to wait until the next episode. Uh, we're gonna use white concrete, we're gonna use gray concrete, and we're gonna use clear glass from, uh, from Tinkers. And, uh, and I think we can make this base look pretty decent using those blocks. But folks, that is all the time we have for today. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe. The likes and subscriptions help out oh so immensely when it comes to those pesky YouTube search results. The other thing that helps out a lot is comments, so make sure you leave your comments right down here in the comment section below and we'll chat about it. Leave your tips, your tricks, your pointers, your attaboys, your what in the world were you thinking RB, why in the world did you build that that way, and we will chat about it in kind. Also, don't forget to stop by my Discord server where we talk about all things life, all things gaming, and specifically all things about Minecraft. If you're interested in becoming a Patreon patron, YouTube channel member, or a Twitch subscriber, uh, then please do consider doing that, and you can end up being, being able to play on the server with all of us. It's been a wonderful pleasure being here with you today. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, we will catch you on the flip side. We'll see you later, folks. Bye-bye.